There is a lot, lot of people short this in the pre-market in the pre-market here. So this could have a wild open. Right? I don't think we're going to be aggressive on this. Like 931. We may take it in 5, 10, 15 minutes. Let's just let's just relax. Maybe I'm overestimating the stop. Okay, good luck, everyone. There's his red. If I miss the SMCI, then, then I miss it. This could open and swish. So we got to watch it. What did I say? 84, 83. Actually, let me put this over here. Okay, I just put the SMCI here in the middle. Okay, Netflix safe at home, 86. SMCI. Wow, forget it. Let's just do this one. Look at that bar. All right, so I'm watching M SMCI here, and I, I, I'm not doing the one minute low on this because it just dropped almost a dollar here. Wow, I said a dollar stop. I'm not going to take it in this. Let this drop. Let's see if it backs up. I'm not calling this here, and I wouldn't take that there. It's too big of a stop. Netflix. Okay, I'm not in anything yet. Okay. SMCI, let's just watch this. Let's see if this gives us an entry. I hope. All right, so this is swooshing. This is swooshing. I predicted a swoosh. I said I thought Netflix was going to swoosh. This is swooshing. So no one should be in it. And I didn't call the one minute low because it basically did it in the first bar. So let's just do this when it sets up. This is going to set up. It's open and swoosh. And I thought something was switched today, but I thought it would be Netflix. Okay, so nothing to do in this. So this is the one. Just wait. And you have to wait for the setup now. And we can do it because the volume's in. So 1950. Yeah, just look, this is swishing. Just wait. There's nothing you can do. I'm going to go all the way right down to 19. Netflix. Well, there's a lot to do today. I'm going to stick with this because it just opened and swooshed, but now I'm going to wait for the setup. And I didn't call the one minute low because it pretty much stalled in the first bar. Netflix looks like it's going to set up though. Netflix looks like it's going to set up. It is setting up. You could short Netflix if you really want to do it. Put the stop over the high. 86.75 Netflix. It's a buck. It's very aggressive here the way it rallied, but you're, this could break. 
I'm going to watch the other one. Volumes in it now, and it open and swoosh. But I have to be patient and wait for the setup. This is very aggressive on Netflix if you do it right in here. Stuff has to be 87.75, and I'm not in it. And I'm not doing this. I'm going to do the one that's swoosh. But this very well could break and fall to $80, like I said. Here it goes. Netflix. Now we just have to wait. It's probably going to go right down to 19. That's crazy. Wow, what a beautiful swoosh. So our first swoosh of running season. And we, we, we actually could have even shorted that there and been up money, but it wouldn't have made any sense. It's going to go right down to 19. Close enough. Be careful if you did Netflix. I was aggressive and I'm not in it. Make sure you have a stop in and be very, very careful. Basically went to nineteen, almost nineteen dollars, nineteen fifteen. Let's blow it up. So this shouldn't back up over twenty. Let's just see what it does here. I don't know, this could be probably 50 cents. Let's just see. SMCI, and I don't have the setup yet, but it opened in swoosh, which is why I kept on it. Netflix set up very aggressively. I don't know what it's doing. I chose not to do it because the way it opened. And this, this, this has a better rollover. But I never called the one minute low because it basically swooshed in the first bar. This doesn't back up. I'm not taking it. So we'll have to see what happens here. But I'm definitely following my rules. the market's along. Um, Netflix. Now, you may not get this. It's just rolling over. I'm waiting for the setup, and I'm not getting it. And I never would have shorted the one minute low in that. So if this doesn't set up here, like in the next five minutes by 9.45, it's not going to set up. It's just going to fall off. And I never called the trade in the one minute low, and I never, did, I never would have done it. I didn't even call it. This, this is just selling off. It's not backing up. I'm not saying I'm giving up on it yet, but... This has got to back up by 
Well, maybe I'll end up doing a late trade in Netflix. No, it's not backing up. All right, so now I'm going to watch Netflix. SMCI isn't setting up at all. If you didn't do the one minute low, which I didn't do or call, then it's gone. It's not backing up. It's just selling off. And I don't know if I'm doing this, but I'm watching it now. Let's see if we can get something. This is still very thin, but fell. Market not ready. Look at this. It's still selling off. No entry. No entry. Wow. Okay, Netflix. This is this is gonna be a big stop. I'm gonna do 04, put the stop over 87. I'm going to give it a dollar. 04 by basically 10. 04 by 10, I'm giving it one dollar Netflix. 04 by 10 Netflix, and it's going to, it's probably going to hit. It's a two minute, and I'm giving this a really wide stop. 04 by 10 Netflix. The other one's gone. And I, I thought this would be a late setup. 04 by 10 Netflix. Don't take it till it hits. This doesn't hit, I'm not going to get anything, do I? Should be in this yet. Unless you did the first trade, which I said was aggressive. Actually touched and held 75. I don't know if anybody did that. In fact, I'm still going to wait for the break of this. 04, I'm still going to wait for 04 by 10 on this. That comes to 25. 25 by 10. It's not going to make a difference. Before then, it doesn't matter. Here, this is it. And one shot. Look at something here. Yeah. 8710. 8710. 8710. 8710 Netflix. And this is it. One shot here and done. This is not a fast setup, which I didn't think it would be, but this is it. And I, I'm surprised I'm doing this, but. It's just rolled over with no let up, no no chance to get in it. It's done, and and I can't even call it now. That's a bummer. Here, Netflix. Let me just look at something here. Okay, I really gave this a wide stop. I just gave this a million miles. 
stop is 8710, and I, in my mind, I mentally was even going to give this even wider stop, but this is probably it. And I thought it was going to be a late, a late, late train because of the because because of the placement of the open. But I do like the gap. I'm giving this I'm giving this over the high though. This is not going to be a fast trade. 8710 is the stop. And if you didn't do it, you can still do it here. It's it hasn't broke yet. Here, let's just see what it has to do to fall off a planet. I'm gonna tell you right now. So this is a, this is aggressive now. The way it opened, and to do this, but I I like the gap, and I said late, and this didn't hold. Although I gave you 75, and it actually held 75. Did anyone do that? <laughs> you could have given it one more penny and stayed in it. I did not do this one over here, but it actually did hold 75. Um, This is not going to be a fast trade. So the fast trade was the one that opened and swooshed and just never looked back. No setup in it, but a beautiful move. And I thought something was swooshed today. I thought it would be this, but it was SMCI. You could have done it. It was it was only a one hour trade. So you didn't miss a million things in that, but you could have made some fast money. I, I don't I think I would have been scalping it too quickly to get out because of the move, but it just went right down and broke 19. Here, Netflix. Let's just look at the market quick. All right, the market could come in before it holds, and it might not do anything today over the high because of the fact that it may wait until tomorrow, like I said, because of the minute. So that would actually help this, and this is crazy. Here's the five minute on Netflix. Man, I, I, I wouldn't have done this. I wouldn't have done this if I had done this. And I didn't do this, and we'll go over this later. Here, we have to pay attention. Here's what we're gonna do. Any, if this doesn't break the low, we're out of half. And that's the situation. Wow, I can't even believe I did this the way I did. Whoa, I'm all of a sudden I'm patient just for one second. I said this morning, uh, I said this is not gonna set up till late, probably. I knew it. I didn't even think I was gonna do this. Here. This is people are buying this gap. People are buying this gap into support today and they're going to get crushed. This is a good bearish gap. And we waited one millisecond. Although the stuff I gave you in the original thing, it touched the number. From now on, when I say it, you should almost put it over the number because it's almost like I just, I visually see the number and I just, and I just see the number and I call it. It's almost like you should put it, oh, I, you should put it over wherever I say because I, I'm seeing the number in my mind and I'm just seeing it and I say the number. You should just almost put it over the number I see. I had time to intellectually think now to put it at 8710, but this morning, I mean, I didn't do it. And I saw 75 and that, that was it. Here, put then this with me. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is going to go red. This is going to fall off a planet. This is a bad, bad gap for this chart. Majorly bad. And it's not because it's down 15 points, although it is, although it absolutely is. Galahad's in it. June is in it. Dubaz is in it. This is expensive. For us. Wow. This is going to go to $80 today, but I don't know if I see that number. <gasps> Here it goes. Wow. Hang on to your skirts. I think it goes through the low. Did anyone not do it? Did anyone do SMCI? I thought you would have had to do it on your own and just kind of short it into the wind because I didn't call it. And it opened and squished in the first bar. But this is the biggest target potential today. And I think this is on its own without the market, but I think the market might help this today because of the fact that the market is showing a little bit of red. <laughs> this is why you have to know what you're doing in gaps because people went long this. Traders went long this today in the support to do a gap fill and they are going to get crushed. And so try to hold it through to get those people getting stopped out, which is where? Under 85. Let's just write down every number. Here, let's be realistic. I said 85. If it doesn't break 85, we're getting getting out of half. What time of the day is it? We haven't gone red yet.
wow, this is just no looking back. No looking back here. No looking back in this. It was the best rated gap. Unfortunately, it opened and swooshed and just never set up for us. It wasn't even an earnings gap. All right, just let me pay attention here and think if we should shave something off this. Mm. No. Try to hold it, try to hold it, try to hold it. You can shave a little bit off if you want to. It hasn't really broken yet, though. It hasn't done what it needs to do yet, like fall off the planet. This is very aggressive, even what we did to trade in here, but it's the right time of the day. This is pulling the market down today, actually. This is pulling the market down today, actually. This stock is pulling the market down. Poor Netflix, and I love Netflix, but here we go. We're going right of the day. Wow, this was so hard to do today, and I can't believe I'm even doing this. This is so hard. Forget about the price point. This is hard. Hard, hard, hard. Here. If it's even aggressive that we're doing it at all. Here. Under the low. It's actually going to break 85. Here. Let's be realistic. 82. I don't know if we could get it to 82. We could have done them both. You could have actually scalped the other one wherever and then done this because you had time. What? Nope, it didn't do it yet. Gosh darn it. Here, hold on. I can't look at your things right now. I have to pay attention. It didn't break the low yet, and I got to get out of half of this somewhere in here soon. I'm not chancing anything at all. In fact, we could. to get in the groove here. Just things are just only starting to get busy now. Come on, come on, come on. I know this whole thing's going to sell off, but I'm not going to let it be here. I'm not going to let it back up over 60. I may not let it back up over 50. Go though. Did anyone not do it? No, here it goes. It's going to go. Did anyone not do it? Try to relax. It's hard though. Just, just let it break. Just let it break into itself and fall. It's going to do it. This actually is, this is so well behaved today. I mean, this is not even spready. Look at this. I don't even, what is the stock even? It's not even normal Netflix. It's behaving so well. Here it goes. Man, this, can you believe we did this today? All right, hold on. No, it didn't break the low yet. This is where it gets hard. No, here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. You could get out of some of it here, and I almost did, but it, it's going to go. I'm like holding my breath. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like holding my breath. Someone needs to take my pulse. I'm like, here it goes. <laughs> Here it goes. I'm like holding my breath so I get out of half. I should just get out of half so I can breathe. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> look like I'm unconscious. Someone's gonna have to get out of the rest of my trade. <laughs> Here it goes. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna faint. I just. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna laugh so bad. All right, here, let's look at the market. <laughs> I'm 
I'm like joking. I'm like holding my breath for like 25 minutes. Just <laughs> get out of this here. I started. I thought I was gonna back up over everything <laughs> there. Here it's breaking. <laughs> here it goes under the low. Now we now we can breathe. <laughs> oh my Lanta. Here. <laughs> You almost could hear me like holding my breath. All right, 85. <laughs> it's not that. It's just the point that this was very aggressive. It was very aggressive, and I just wanted, I just, I just wanted to make money every day from now until the end of the year, from now until forever. Here. <laughs> and it's just, you know, we're just getting into the busy season. And we don't break 85, though. Here, I really am getting out of half. <clears throat> yeah, I know it's going to. Here it goes. Oh, no, no, no. I, I know it's going to. One push through the line, I'm going to take half into the drop. And that's what I'm going to do if they can do it here. <clears throat> Look how badly it wants to. You got to get the stop out to the people who went long, then that's going to be profit. It could be 40, 50 cents. Here it goes. Here it goes. <laughs> Great call. Yeah. Beautiful. Let it drop. No. What was the other number? 84, 83. I want to look at the market, but I don't want to take my office. Here it goes. There, there. there. Yeah, this is a nice call. Here, let it just go. Here, hold on one second. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Look at the rubber band. Uh, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. See if we can get it done. One, one, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Five more minutes. You can hold it. <clears throat> You know what? If this goes all the way down to 84, I'm taking the whole thing. I don't know if it does. Let's see. Here. Come on. Nice call. So aggressive. I said 84, 83 was a number. Here. Here. I took half that. You can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want to do here. I just got out of half. All right. Let's just see. Here. Now I can breathe. <clears throat> here. Of course. I got out of half and it's going to fall off the planet right now, but it doesn't matter. Here. Wow, was this a nice call? I cannot tell you how many traders are, how many day trading rooms went long on a stop this morning in Netflix thinking it would rally or fill the gap for whole support. I am the only room that called this short. Here, look at go. And I shouldn't have just, I should have just held the whole damn thing, but it doesn't matter. Look. Get me some of this stuff before it bounces. Now let me just look at the market. Here. Whatever happened with this? This was a waste of a beautiful swoosh. Here, you could actually, if you feel like going nuts, you could actually short this in here. 84 with a tight, tight stop, 1940. 1940. It's just, it's just every stop in this was big. 84 by 40. It just doesn't even seem worth it. You get out of the whole thing here if you really want. <clears throat> Dave's trading platform has issues. I'm sorry to hear that. Call and get them fixed. Call and get them fixed. Perfect entry is right. Some, it's just my, my ability to be able to see the price point of where these open. There's two 
things. One is to get reading. And then two, the benefit of being in the room is to see the see the where it's opening, to know what it needs to do and to be open. And that's what I have on the sheet. How do I want this to set up? What is the perfect ideal entry? How do I want to set up? What do I want to do right into the open? And I knew this wasn't going to be a fast play. I knew it. And that is so hard for me to trade some days when I know that. When I know that it's not going to go right away, it's so hard for me not to do it. It's so hard for me to do it at all. And, and this is not what anyone would consider late but me. I'm the only one that would even say that a trade at 940 is late. But it's true. And I, and I knew that with this. And, and even that was aggressive. But... I'm really, really, really getting better at seeing where these need to set up to know the timing of when we need to get it or where to put the stop to keep us in it. And I said 75 and I didn't do it. And that was the number though. That was the number though. And, and just, you know, it's just that one tweak. It's just that one tweak. And for those of you that are, that are right there, sometimes it's just that one tweak of thing you have to do to make yourself just absolutely perfect. And today, that was all I needed in this one tweak. There it goes, Netflix. I don't know if we can get the rest of this down to 82. Let's see if we could. I'm out of hand. We can't lose in this. There's no thing we can do. We will never lose in this now at all. It's done. It's broke. And I'm out of half. Let's just look at everything here. Genius Black, did you get the training? You asked me about the entry after we did it. Hold on. I'm just checking some things here quickly. This flipped. I hope whoever did this, if you did it, you were careful. What happened with the BMW? Not easy. Not easy here either. Nothing was easy today. Nothing was easy today at all. Here, this just set up again. It's just this just isn't even. This is just dead. It's dead on arrival, and you could just short it into the wind. Insane, and I, I don't trade like that. But we'll go over this when we're done. That just keep. Look at that. Here. Great trade is right. All right. Who's in what? I'm in half of this, and I think you should be absolutely out of some of this no matter what, but it's going to continue to go. It's broken. Uh, okay. Who did what? Who did what? Did anyone do SMCI? Let's go over some things here. I'm in half of this. we got to be a little, 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 little patient here now because we're probably going to need three reds in the 15 minutes. So one, two. This hasn't closed yet. And maybe one more. So either two or three reds. <clears throat> June still has it all? I think that is greedy, June. If you're not familiar with trading this stock, which you're not because we haven't done it that much in the room since you've been in it, I this stock is wild. It's a wild woolly beast. But I'm, I've traded it a lot, so I'm comfortable with it. But if you've never traded it, you should be out of some of this. It's very, very wild. But I will tell you, it's acting like an angel today. If you want a trailing stop, ask Paul. That's his thing, not mine. They get traders out. Good for you. You like the 15 minutes? I like everything. I love, there's nothing I don't like about this. There's nothing I don't like about this except for the one minute and the two minute looks crappy. But we did it anyways. Devaz is out. You'd rather be safe than sorry. Trader Alexei Paper traded it in May 1350. Can you imagine if that was real money? You quit your job today. Uh, no, the stop is 8710. 8710. I haven't moved the original stop. I think it's bad luck when I do that, actually. So I'm just, maybe I'll just never do that because it's just bad luck when I move the stop. <laughs> You're better to get out of it or get out of half like I did. Moving the stop. For me, it doesn't work. It's almost like I lose conviction when I move it. I jinxed it. <laughs> so you do what you want. <laughs> Here it goes, Netflix. New low under 50, I think was the number. No, 55. What a nice call. See, you get better over time. Even something as hard as this, you can do. 
but the cap rate of goods. So let's go over it. I don't think this did anything with the numbers I gave it all, though. I had the resistance so far away. Well, no, I lie. I did have one of the numbers is 87. Actually, I did have one of the numbers is 87, and I had 86.69, which is basically was. I did have the least, actually, this held the least level of resistance, 86.69, because that counts. So this did hold the least level of resistance, but I wonder if that's why I called it. I wonder if my eye saw that. I, I don't know what. Let's go look at this, because this was just crazy. So this is how it opened, and that, that doesn't look good at all. And the bottom line is that I got off of it, because this looks like it got bought, or short covering into the open. This looks okay. Then I called it here. I said, this is very, very aggressive. I said the number was 75. It touched that number, and it actually never went over it. But then this looks really bad here. That. So if you were, if you, if you, had, if you were in this and long, and I'm just playing devil's advocate here. And pay attention. I'm still in half the tree. And devil's advocate here is that this is over the high with a big green bar. Volume here, you can see it in the corner. It's a lot. Then it triggers here as a here. Look, hold on. No, we're okay. Um, anyways, it triggers here. It triggers here like it's gonna fall, fails to go lower, triggers here again like it's gonna drop, fails to go lower, holds as a buy setup goes over the high. These are signs that the stock is actually lifting on the day and actually is not as short. So on the intraday one-minute chart, time of the day is 8, 9.38. So in the first eight minutes, if you were a day trader that traded based on this trading action, which, which I'm not, I'm trading the gap. I'm trading the gap. I take the trace on here reading it, but it's the gap I'm reading, and that's why we did it, and that's why we're up. This is, this is an expert trade. I mean, this is just one of the hardest things we've done in a long time, and it worked. Anyways, this thing here looks like it's a long so then day traders are long it. And if you weren't long it here, you might have been long in here. The failure to go lower here on each setup, short. And then going over the high. But as you see, it is not a long. And look at this. People might be trying to buy this, picking it up in here. 8450. <clears throat> This is the way I have to get out of some. Sorry, just, was, the only way we get this to some crazy number is if we're patient. We could have gotten out of the whole thing down there at 8450. I didn't I didn't see any reason to because this is broken now. <clears throat> but you could have. Some people did. But you absolutely, absolutely, absolutely had to get out of half. I'm going to try to make the more most of this. This is a Netflix I know here, just backing up here now. Anyways, getting back to this whole situation here, um, you know, so this really intraday, it looks like a long, but you can't just read an intraday pattern and trade the chart based on the intraday pattern. You trade it off the gap. You trade it off the gap. If the gap rates 20 points or more per the 26-point rating system, which this did, the gap rated 20 points. <clears throat> and so here's the gap. This should, this should do one bar here, and then it should do it again and go down. Now, getting back here. What was the last earnings? Was this the last earnings on this? I don't remember now. But this was earnings. This is a bad gap for Netflix. This chart's lower, and that's why we did it. I mean, that was, I guess, this is why we did it, and it was very hard. 
So you could, you're you're up in this even with the original entry I gave. You could get out of the whole thing. You can wait for another breakdown. You should be out of something on that path. This should reverse that five minute and one more push down and we're done. We're done and then it's 10.09. But you could, this this could collapse all day. You'd have to have the patience of instinct. <clears throat> this should fall through tomorrow as well. You agree that you'd be likely wiser for June to get out of half? I don't know what June ended up doing. So market's, market's holding. Market's holding, so it's not dropping. Not pulling in, not holding. This is the pull-in that we're going to do. It's a baby, baby, baby gap down that's not going to go anywhere today lower. It's a baby. Wow. And Google is higher. Good, 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 good. Okay, let's go over SMCI. If anybody wants to go over everything else, let me know. I hope this thing holds here, that one bar. Let's find out. Um, here, let's look at what's out for the night. <clears throat> oh, we could have got out of the whole thing. I just, I thought it was going to keep going right away. Oh, we're going to be in this for a while now. Let me look at what's out for tonight. <clears throat> Somebody just emailed me, 13% gap on Netflix. Not that it has anything to do with anything. You had to kill this trade since your algorithm had to catch this. I, that's a friend. I don't have an algorithm. My friends think I have an algorithm. It's called my brain. My algorithm is my brain. It's Melissa Armo's brain. Um, let's, it's, a, it's the best algorithm you could buy, actually. You can't beat it with a stick. All right, let's see what's out tonight. Marvell. Here. We might lower the stop on this in the five minute, but not yet on the whatchamacallit, the Netflix. DFS and Marvell here and CTAS. Let me just write down the ones I like. Although there's like 100 million gaps tonight. We might lower the stop on this after this does a little pivoting here. Not yet, but we might. Yep. People are trying to buy this again in here. Is that insane or what? It's insane. Uh, DFS. Oh, what did Goldman do? Let's quick look at that then. Speaking of which, this is good if it does something. We'll watch that. I don't know what it does. Marvell is a snail, but we always make money doing this, so we should watch it. Good practice one for size for those of you who are trying to step up your size because it's a snail. CTAS, low volume, but should have volume tomorrow. Expensive. No charts. I have the charts up. Here, can you see it? Tonight's watches. Goldman's rallying. Market's trying to hold. What did JPM ever do after the gap? Did it recover? <sighs> Hard to believe what the banks look like with the spy make a new high. Let's look, let's talk about that for a minute. Let's look at that. There's something going on there. Yeah, that's, hmm. Wow, this is really rallying back a lot. I still like it, but I'm not going to be in this all day. I'm making a decision here simply based on time of the day to put my stop at break even. Let me just look at something here. 
I'm putting a stop at break even on Netflix. Do whatever you want to do. I don't think this should go back anywhere near where we took it, but it's pushing back hard now and the market's trying to hold. And I didn't get out of this whole thing here and I don't think there was a mistake, but I just put the stop break even. You got to put it at your entry if you didn't get out of the whole thing. I still think this is fine. I still think this is fine. I still think it's fine, but it hasn't pivoted yet. And I'm not letting it get anywhere back near where I was. So do whatever you want to do. A great trade no matter what. And I know it's still lower. I just don't know what time. It's 10.15 though. Is there a report? Did we just get a report or something? Okay. I want to go over the banks in a minute, but I just did pull the stop down. 55. Let me just see if this is a number I missed. I, I know this is going to flip around again. I just know it, know it, know it, know it, know it. But now I'm being cautious. So no one did the SMCI, not a person in the planet, huh? No one did it? Well, this is a telltale sign for this here. Do or die. June, did you really knock it out of any of this? Did you really knock it out of any of this, June? Just cannot, 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 cannot go over here. You didn't get out of any of it? All right. There's a lot of stuff out tomorrow I know for econ. Wow. Was I being a pig wanting to hold this today? I don't think I was. I don't think I was at all. Here, this will hold. Very tricky, though. Look how tricky it is now. It's even trickier now because look at the 15 minute. This is still a short, but the 15 minute now held in here, flipped, did this bar. I mean, this is so tricky today. It is fighting with itself, but it's it's lower here. I did put the stop for the rest to break even. I got out of half, luckily, tons and tons and tons time ago. But now that it backed up, if I had known it was going to back up like this, I would have got out of the whole thing down in there just to be more relaxed because it's very, very late. But this is still going to break down again. Very, very tricky today. But it's all in the gap. I'm just going to go lower, but tricky. So, all right, let's go over the, let's look at the banks quick. Because what's weird is that they don't look good. They don't look good at all. Let's just look at a couple. Well, JPM looks better than Goldman. This is still not looking great. Uh, give me some more banks. Let's just look at a bunch of them. It's very, no, look at this one. Crap. So the market's making this move without the banks. The banks are nowhere near making brand new all-time highs. In fact, some of them aren't even in uptrend. And so the SPY just made another brand new all-time high in the last week without the banks. Now, what does that tell you? What do you think that means? Somebody, anybody guess. What do you think is going through my mind? A 
should hold, but if it doesn't, I'm going to trail on the rest. What do you think that means? Quickly, quickly, quickly. Am I talking to myself? The banks took your money to buy the stock? No. What do you think it means if the SPY has just made a brand new recent all-time high? Let's go and I'll tell you the exact date because you were all here and I jumped up and down about it 100,000 times before it even happened. <sighs> it was on the 11th. And we're now pulling back. So on the 11th, we made a brand new all-time high. That was a week ago. <gasps> Netflix. So based on that, and the fact that the banks look like crap, I'm generalizing here, but for the most part, even JPM, which is the strongest of them, doesn't look amazing. In other words, I wouldn't throw a million dollars into JPM. So no one else knows, tell us. Art of trading says money pouring in for overseas where interest rates on bonds are negative. Okay, now you're going to make me use my head here. I need another cup of coffee. <laughs> Here's Netflix running over again. Uh, Art of trading says money pouring in for overseas where interest rates on bonds are negative. Gene C says possibly, probably going lower, meaning the banks are the spot. Art of trading saying big U.S. dividend payers, dividend payouts offer positive yield. Paul, do you want to add your two cents? And look at Netflix. <laughs> Woo! And I didn't even wear the good luck earrings. I got to pull them out of the pouch. Bottom line is that the fact that the that the spy which includes the banks, and QQQs don't, has made a brand new all-time high without the banks means what? It means that it's much, 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 much higher and has a huge, massive way to go because the banks will lift. They are lifting, but they don't look great. They are lifting, but they don't look great. So what I'm saying is that the SPY has a massive way to go because the banks that are part of that index will will lift. They are lifting, but they don't look great. But once they start to look better and lift, so will the market even move higher. Does that make sense? So we're, we, we're just getting going. I mean, this is a brand new move for the market. That's why it's not pulling back. It's new money coming in. As we discussed last week, who, there's nothing to do here. There's nobody, there's nothing to sell. When you, when, I mean, who's selling here? Nobody. Idiots. And also, people that would want to short, but I don't even see that happening. I don't even see those people even happening in here. Intraday people were trying to short this last week, never went anywhere. But I'm telling you that people that, you know, are waiting for a pullback to go long, they're going to miss it. Nobody's shorting here because they're kind of a wait and see thing, although we may get some shorting around 220. I think we just go right up to 220. I think we just go right up to 220. I don't know how long it takes us to get there, but we're not that far away. So anyways, the point is that once the banks start to lift, the market's really going to go because it's part of the index. And I'm saying, though, that it just shows you how, how far we are really going to go in this index because the banks aren't even part of this move, and they will be. They are going to look better, I believe, over time. They are trying to fix themselves, but they took a tumbly to into the year because of everything that's happened with all the, with all the stuff overseas. But they, they're trying to fix themselves. They're trying to fix themselves. They haven't done it yet. This, this was a waste of a swoosh. So let's go over this. Open and swoosh. I saw it in the first bar. This counts. And then I didn't call the one minute low because of that. And do, 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 do. And it just fell. In fact, if we had done the one minute low, we could have made one R. And who knows what Netflix will turn out to be. But I, I mean, I thought this would do something that we could get in. Never did it. Never, never did it. In fact, the low in here then was what? 1860. Nice gap, but not an earnings gap, just rolling over. <clears throat> and this looks good too. So anywhere near the low, if it doesn't break the low amount, 
and we got to get out of this somewhere soon, and I'm teaching the wealth class today from 12 to 3. Uh, Art of Trading is saying the U.S. offers relative safety and positive yields. Gene is saying usually profit taking after all time highs for a while. Well, people that were scared that they were, were in stuff that had waited through the drop down maybe or bought for a short term trade near the lows where we could retest it at 180, which some people bought. But that was an aggressive move in there unless you looked at the market that it was really going to keep going with a lot of conviction, which I did. I mean, I was ready in my trade by then. <clears throat> but some of you did the call I made in here and had a much, much better price than I did. You know, look at this market. It's just not going to pull back at all. All right, any questions from anyone or anything? Paul, do you want to get on the mic and talk or say anything or anything at all? I have no idea where this Netflix goes today, except for the fact that if it goes down and breaks the low, one push them out. If it goes down and retouches the low, and doesn't break it, I'm out. I'm already out of path. Does anyone want to go over anything? Just wanted to look at this. This looks good here today, too. And everything looks good here. Any comments, any questions, any any anything? If you want to retake the Golden Gap of the Wealth class, email Paul or me. And if you are an annual room member, you get to do it for free. If you want to sign up, email me, and does anyone have anything else they want to say? All right, let's see. No, we can lower the stop on this again. Let's lower the stop again. Just no, no. Just keep it where it's at because it would be basically the same place with the cushion. So everyone should have their stop at break even on this. And I really don't think anyone should be in the whole thing, but June still is. He's hedging his bets. He just put money in IRA yesterday. Okay, that's good. Does anyone want to go over anything? I don't know what we get tomorrow. Marvell, maybe. It's tonight, I mean. Yeah, June, June, I'll tell a little bit. June, June is going to have to write me a testimonial. June quit his job. June quit his job and is now a full time trader. June, when did you do the class? You did the class last year? When? You took a leave of absence for six months and then you just quit. When did you do the, when did you do the class? This will help motivate people. June quit his job. You're 52. Labor Day last year, you did the class. Then you took a six month leave of absence in January, right? Or February, it was sometime this year. January, February, March. February, you took a six-month leave of absence from your job to prove you could do it. Here's, here's Netflix. Here's Netflix. Look at this. And now you just quit. And there you have it. That's in a year. You don't listen to everything I say, but you're doing good. But you listen to most. So that's a success story. I want to hear more of those from you people. Okay, Netflix, we're going to get down to the low here. And good job, June. 84.50 is the low. And I think we break that, but let me just look here. Did anyone not do this? Did anyone do something else?
10.30, it's late. But this is going to break down again. Jean said congrats. Yes. Jean says he has conviction. Yes, we do. And that and the system is all it takes. Here it goes. Under 85, Netflix should just go right down and break the low. Nice trade here today. Did anybody not do it? I think everyone did it. It was a expensive stock for us. Like, I will say that for the normal stuff that we do. And the market's holding here now. And Google's going to get over the high from yesterday. Do, do, do. Here's the 15 minute on Netflix. Hello. Your doctor is going to take my class? Wonderful. Send him my way or she. You brag? Good for you. Here, right in the room. Everybody that's still in this, where are you getting out of it? What's your plan of action? I just told you mine. What are you doing? Write it in the room. I don't want to close out the room until you ride in the room where you're getting out of this if you're still on the train. And I do need another cup of coffee here. That's too early. You brag about me or you or both of us? Okay. Wonderful. No one answered me. Journey Women's Top is break even, but where are you getting out? It's, where are you getting out? Not where to stop. Where are you exiting the trade with profit? Jean is out. June. Jean would like to hear your story of the former job situation. I told Jim that he needs to write his whole story in a big testimonial. But he has to use spell check. <laughs> he, <laughs> that's the one caveat. Am I the only person that's in half of this besides Journey Mother? Because no one else is answering me, and June's in the whole thing. CJ is out at 10.05. Very good. Nothing wrong with that. Here it goes, under 85. You have an order out of, uh, get out at 82. Okay. Galahad's trailing the third. Very good. This is a wild bar in this here, I'm noticing. I don't know what this day was. This must have been some kind of news. July 5th, what happened here? Just see that bar there now. This is the least prettiest I've ever seen this stock. I'm tired and I wasn't even up late watching TV. I, I wasn't even up late. A long day yesterday. I was up early. Do, do, do. Okay. Any questions from anyone? No, not watching that or limits. I went to bed early. I, I just I just had a long day. So my stop and this is eighty six twenty five or bus. Do whatever you want, okay? Bottom line is, don't let it get away from you. This should not go over the bar here in the 15 minute anyways. And we could even be tighter, but I'm just gonna leave it. Come back around at noon for the wealth class if you're signed up or if you wanna sign up, email me. I think I'm gonna close out the room now, check emails.
instead of babysitting this, have a coffee and get ready for the class. I'm going to have to be out of this, though, within one hour and 20 minutes. If this, if this doesn't, if this doesn't, if this doesn't, if this doesn't break the load by 11, 11, 15, it, it has to, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. It has to by 11, I think. June, where are you getting out of this? $80 a bust or what? I think $82 is very realistic today and the dream target on this is 80 bucks, but I don't know if it gets there now because it's really late. It's, it's at 85.14. But it's not done selling off, that's for sure, and it's definitely not a long. 83. My plan of action, I think, is 84, and if it doesn't break that out, because I think if this breaks the low, it'll get down to 84. So if this breaks the low, it'll get down at least to the next whole number. I don't know if that was worth it holding it here for an extra hour and a half, but we'll see how it acts. Can't lose it now. Poor Netflix. Maybe I need just to re-sign up. I had, didn't re-sign up. Netflix needs me. Here, under 85, it should go. Netflix. Good job today, everyone that did this. Okay, I'm going to close out the room and monitor my own trade, and you're on your own with this, too. Have a good day. I have no idea what we get tomorrow. Everybody should know what they're doing with this. Got to be out of this by the class at noon. Want to get this down to see if it breaks the low, and if it has a hard bar through it, I'm out. You're welcome, Lexi. Here, this is going to break 85 right now. Thanks for the laugh. What, did I say something funny today? What did I say? What did I say today was funny? Oh, when I was holding my breath? Or the algorithms? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Have a good day. You're welcome. I'll see you tomorrow. And tell me I'll see you this afternoon. Gene, you and your moving averages. <laughs> All right. Have a good day.